Hello. You can hear us. You are up, and we can hear you. Hello. Uh, am I on stage now? Yes, you are on stage. Hello. Uh, yes, you are on stage, Anand. You can start talking. You can. You have your for five minutes. I'm not sure if I'm. Uh, Anand, can you hear me? You are already on stage. Hello, I hope you can hear me. Uh, let me just share my screen. Please give me a minute. Uh, yeah, sorry, I couldn't figure out how to share the screen, but uh, I'm going to talk about BBC Microbit. Yeah. So this is uh, a device called BBC Microbit. It's a small microcomputer that can run Python. <clears throat> Back in uh, 2017, when I went to uh, uh, US UK PyCon, uh, there was a, a demo of uh, microbits, and I grabbed some of them from the organizers there. And I've been using it uh, on and off. I did a session at PyCon India after coming back from there, uh, and I've been giving it to uh, kids that I know. So due, because of pandemic, uh, uh, my kids and uh, kids from extended family have been like not doing much, uh, having getting bored. I thought let me choose programming. So I took this thing and then. Uh, 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 introduced them for a week and they were quite excited and then uh, started playing with stuff. I'm going to show some of the interesting things that you can do with this. Before I get started, let me kind of show what this device is about. Okay, so this is a this is a device. This device runs Python natively, and uh, the it has very simplified uh, interface. You can see there's a five by five uh, uh, LEDs here, and there are two buttons, and then there are uh, uh, extensions that you can connect any hardware to. So this is a program that uh, uh, my daughter has written, which basically uh, she made it dice. So when you click on the button A, that means this button, it will roll a random number and then show uh, the number that you can actually show. So you can actually show uh, different icons on the screen, and uh, it can support different gestures. It can uh, you can uh, shake it, you can throw up and down, and you can show different. Uh, uh, icons. I'll show you uh, that in a minute. So this is uh, uh, it's kind of showing a uh, message on launch. And when you press a button, so uh, I have some kids at home. They have built all that. I'm going to ask them to kind of show at the mic. Can you show what is this? How does this work? This is representing a smiley icon. When you press button A, uh, it shows uh, icon heart, which blinks. Okay. And when you shake it, uh, it shows an icon confused symbol. It's in a confused state, actually. Yeah. So, so what you can do is you can basically. Uh, so these are things that kids have picked up uh, in uh, a week or two. Uh, this can be programmed in a block language, Python, and uh, uh, JavaScript. So, uh, so this you can play with these buttons. Uh, and uh, so, I've seen two of the examples. I'm going to other example. There's, uh, there's other small little uh, uh, circuit you can see here. Uh, it's a, a micro bit connected to a uh, that's uh, that's driving that circuit, which is a, a traffic uh, lights. Uh, I'll ask. Uh, uh, so she'll explain what is that. What Hello, is everyone. This is traffic light circuit. If we press button A, the the traffic speed the speed will increase. If we press button B, the speed will decrease. If we press both button A and B, it comes to the normal position. Yeah. So the reason I'm kind of showing all this is. Uh, these are the kids who have with no programming background at all, and uh, 
within a couple of weeks they could actually pick it and uh, do all of that the other interesting thing is it's really uh, uh gives a lot of motivation to kind of try new things and then uh, uh learn programming uh, do other stuff that's uh, it's, it's so uh, that's about it okay so i would say like if you look at some of these kids that i'm talking with right uh they wouldn't consider themselves really smart etc like they kind of consider they don't, they're very uh, uh they don't really like mathematics etc so they're not the typical bite kids that you can think about right i mean anyone who kind of get a simple device like that and then start playing with that i think that gives a lot of encouragement and motivation to try new things so it's a wonderful device if you ever want to introduce programming to any kid uh, think about it uh, think of microbit uh, this is now available also on amazon so you can buy it as well and uh, yeah that's it and uh, plan to do a boff uh, sometime tomorrow on microbit and other hardware so please join and Yeah, that's all done. Thank you so much.